So let, let's talk about the, the the playing field. Let's talk about the environment. So um, you're you're trying to get these great candidates to run. What sort of democracy are they going to be running in? We, we've covered on the show uh, some of the bills that have passed recently, making it harder to vote and that sort of thing. How significant do you consider some of what's already passed and what's being debated in a, in a lot of different states right now? Oh, it is or has the possibility to be the end of democracy. And I feel like kind of hyperbolic when I say that or like a chicken running around with my head cut off. Like maybe this is the the end of the functioning government as we know it. But I do think we have a choice in the next 18 months. What happens to the entire democratic process? You know, we have democratic candidates and run for something candidates running for election clerk and local county executive who kind of oversee whether how these elections are run and what the budgets are for administration and those same positions are being disempowered by state led by republican state legislatures there is a pretty decent chance that after 2022 a democrat in some states will not be certified to win an election again so I think we have a moment right now, we have to decide how much we care. <laughs> and if we decide we care a lot, which I hope we do, we're willing to fight for these local elections just as much as we are fighting for the federal ones. Because these are the folks that are actually taking the, the legislation and moving it into action. And if they, if good people aren't in these positions, even and especially in deep red states, we have counties that we can control, we are gonna be, you know, can I curse? Out of luck here. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it, it's a good thing that you're encouraging people to focus on that. I know that the other side certainly is. Um, you know, they've they've had issues with elections for a long time. Uh, elected Republicans have you know supported voter suppression in a lot of different forms, but there really was a focus on uh, secretaries of state, uh, focus on uh, local election officials, on ballot counters. I mean, we've, mm -hmm. I mean, how many of these workers have received death threats as a result of the hyper focused campaigns of right wing media? And we know right now that in addition to these pieces of legislation that are being passed, those positions, you have people trying to run for those positions, being appointed to those positions, who are going to be much more sympathetic towards efforts to overturn elections. So that's not an area that I think is going to get a lot of national attention, but it could be crucial for laying the groundwork for future challenges to you know the, the 2024 presidential campaign, for instance. So I'm glad that you are choosing to focus on that. And you know, that doesn't even get into the other side of the crazy part of the Republican Party, which is that QAnoners and Proud Boys are aggressively recruiting for local office. Just yesterday, there was a story about how the Proud Boys national chairman is encouraging his members, his boys to run for local office. And we have seen across QAnon forums, similar calls to get involved in school boards, get involved, take over the party from the ground up, take over the country from the ground up. That's really dangerous. So if you're not doing it for the for the purpose of structural electoral reform, which you know, in and of itself is a really good reason to care about local elections on top of the policy impact these positions have. Do it because on the other side, the worst possible people are trying to get involved. And if we don't fight back, they win. So let's talk about the, the potential fight back. In my intro, I alluded to the fact that it didn't seem like our, you know, uh, the Democratic Party is doing much yet. I mean, they yeah. have the For the People Act, it has been filibustered. And right now we're sort of waiting to find out what's going to happen. What do you think about that? What are, what are your, your thoughts and your concerns? I am terrified that we're not gonna get federal action here. I think it is a really dangerous place to be in. I hope that Senators Manchin and Cinema and you know, the many other Democratic senators who are more quietly resisting filibuster reform take action, kill the filibuster and pass the kind of voting rights legislation we need, or at least some iteration that put some boundaries on the worst parts that Republicans are doing. And I think we have to make sure that we are fighting as hard as we can for some of these state legislative chambers in 2022. It's really tempting for Democrats to focus just on sort of the top tier, most flippable places we can change control. But you know, we saw in Texas this year, it actually does matter how meaningful of a minority we have in these chambers. It matters if there are Democrats in these places controlled by Republicans who are willing to fight. We saw the Texas Democrats storm out of the state capitol, refusing to grant Republicans a quorum. We should have more minorities in Georgia, in Florida, in Arizona, in Kansas, in Wisconsin, who have the same kind of backbone. So let's make sure we're investing yeah. in all of these places, not just the ones that feel like the highest, most competitive targets. I agree. If someone is watching this or interested in finding out more about your organization, potentially running, where can they find out more about that? 
runforsomething.net is where you go. You can learn more about how to run, how to give, how to help. We are here to help you if you're thinking about running in 2022 or beyond, uh, no matter what state you're in. Even if you might be outside of our age demographic, that's okay. We'll help find the resources for you. But runforsomething.net is where to go. Amanda Littman, thank you so much. Appreciate being here. Thanks for having me. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.